equations. Linear equation in one variable and linear equation in two variables. First we will talk about linear equation in one variable. Just take an example. 2x plus 3 is equals to 0. Here only one variable that is x we can see. So this equation is a linear equation but in one variable. Take another example that is 3y plus 4 is equals to 0. Again here is also one variable that is y. Now we will talk about linear equation in two variables. So 2x plus 3y plus 4 is equals to 0. So here x, y there are two variables. So this equation is actually a linear equation in two variables. So this was about the difference between linear equation in one variable and linear equation in two variables. Now just take some more examples like if we have a question for linear equation in one variable. 3 upon 5 plus t is equals to 0. Now how we will calculate the value of t here? So we have and at our LHS part, as we all know, in any equation there are two parts, LHS and RHS, left hand side, right hand side. So here at LHS part we have a constant number that is 3 upon 5. So we will transfer this number to the RHS side. So according to the rule of mathematics, when a number is transferred to another side, so, its sign gets converted or changed into the opposite sign like here plus 3 upon 5. So, it is positive number when it will go to the RHS side it will be minus. So, we will get T is equals to minus 3 upon 5. Take another example 6Y is equals to 2. Here we have 6y is equals to 2. We have to calculate the value of y. Now, the 6 is actually the multiple of y here. So, when a number is a multiple, it is in the multiplication. When we transfer that number to another side, it goes in the division part. So, the 6 will go in the denominator of 2. So, it will become y is equals to 2 upon 6. Now, 2 upon 6, so that will be cancelled out. That is 1 upon 3. So, we get the value y is equals to 1 upon 3. So, in this way, we can solve the linear equations in one variable. Uh, the question always asks you uh, to calculate the value of variable like x, y, z, t, a, b, c, whatever it is. Now moving on further, linear equation in two variables. So yes, 2x plus 3y plus 4 is equals to 0. Just take this example. Now, uh, the, in the question, if one asks you that here, the value of x is 2, let us suppose. So what we will do? The value of x is 2. We have to calculate the value of y. So we will put the value of x is equals to 2 here in the equation. So how it will be formed? 2 into 2 plus 3y plus 4 is equals to 0. So 2 into 2 is 4. So 3y 4 plus 3y plus 4 is equals to 0. Now what is 4 plus 4? 4 plus 4 is 8. 3y plus 8 is equals to 0. Now we will transfer 8 to the another side. So, 8 is positive when it will go to the another side, it will be negative. So, 3y is equals to minus 8. Now, we have to calculate y. So, yes, 3 is in the multiplication with y. So, 3 will go to the another side in the division part. So, it will become y is equals to minus 8 upon 3. So, in this way, we have calculated the value of this variable. Uh, there are some methods in the mathematics in many standards like if we will move to the class 9, class 10 standards. So we have some methods that is substitution method, elimination method 
and cross multiplication method. So we will discuss these methods in our further videos, in our future videos. Uh, in today's lecture, it was enough to discuss. Uh, this lecture was only to uh, give you an idea that what is linear equation and what is the difference between linear equation in one variable and linear equation in two variables. Now, in our uh, next lecture, we will discuss some methods how to solve the linear equations in two variables. Till then, ta-ta, bye-bye. And if you liked my video, Please subscribe, like and share my channel and share this video. Thank you so much for watching it.